The image that you're seeing here is a copy of one of our customers' electric bill. Check out the month of May. She saved $16 compared to the year before. In this video, we are sharing with you some free simple tips that can cool your attic down to potentially save you money as well. After many years of being in the roofing business, we've learned some simple tips and tricks that can cool your attic down in a few minutes without having to go through the hassle of actually getting on your roof. Some of these tips that we are about to share with you may seem pretty obvious, but to others, it may actually be an eye-opening experience. So if you want to learn what we did and how we did to save this customer money, then stick around because you guys are in for a treat. Let's get started. Notice how we are always so focused on the peak of the roof. We use ridge ventilation, mushroom exhaust vents, whirly bird vents, powered vents, solar vents, you name it. It seems like everyone is always so focused on the top. Wouldn't you agree? Why don't we focus on the bottom? That is a question that is very fair to ask. I want you to imagine blowing in through a straw, but blowing out through a barrel. This is the problem that most houses have. They all have many exhaust vents, but no intake vents. Ventilation does not work this way. You need to understand that for you to have an efficient attic ventilation system, you must include the bottom. You must give those top vents something to draw air from. With this in mind, I want you to start cooling your attic down by doing this. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Well, I've got intake vents. What are my soffits for? That's what they're for, right? For intake. Well, soffits don't do you any good if they're covered up with insulation. Most builders, what they do is uh, they go into the attic and use blow insulation and just blow all over the attic and just completely dismiss the fact that you have soffit vents and most of the times they just pour blow insulation over the soffit vents over the area and what that does it pretty much it covers the intake so now what that does it's it's it pretty much it keeps air from coming inside your attic like what you see here on the picture this is a very common picture i see this every single day that i go into attics so what i want you to do is i want you to go inside the attic if you can bring a leaf rake i i know it may sound kind of weird but bring a, a leaf rake the same one that you use to rake up all the leaves in the fall time and what i want you to do is i want you to get all the way back in that edge and rake back and push back the insulation, maybe about a foot or two feet away <clears throat> from the actual soffit area. Rake it far back to where you can actually see some daylight if possible. If you're able to see daylight, more than likely you're, you're able to have air coming in. So that is the first thing that I want you to do. That is gonna help you tremendously. Tip number two, if you're home and you're comfortable leaving your garage door open just enough to let your cat in and out, leave it open. While you're there, I want you to also open the attic door too. Most houses here in the central Texas area have their attic access doors in the garage anyway. So let's leave these two doors open. Your garage door only takes up about a third of half of your home's front wall anyways right that's huge let's take full advantage and welcome in this fresh cool natural air into your home this will start the air movement process if you don't believe this i want i'm i'm challenging you i want you to try this open the two doors like i said just enough to let the cat in and out and your attic access door and then I want you to sit or stand near the attic entryway. And almost instantly, you will notice the draw of cool air that is naturally going to pull and move towards, which in turn is gonna find its way to the top and out of your attic. 
you're gonna feel that natural breeze coming in without you having to do nothing it's some pretty good stuff huh kind of eye-opening right well thank you for watching the video this far and since you're here I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel hit that like button and that bell to get notified um, we try to upload videos on a weekly basis uh, we also do run a roofing business so sometimes uh, we get a little busy and um, it delays the process a little bit but we keep you informed with roofing tips roofing how to videos and uh, pretty good roofing information such as this one in the description below I will leave you a link of our website with the more in detail information about this topic you could uh, visit it and read it yourself um, it's pretty much it covers the same thing uh, just goes a little bit more into detail but with all that being said let's move on to tip number three tip number three is in those cases like worst case scenario where you can't get into the attic and uh, you can't rake back the uh, insulation sometimes you have vaulted attics sometimes um, it's just very uncomfortable you have like a like a two foot walk area so there's just times that you can't get into the attic so in this case what I like to do is we like to install some 750 metal slant back vents they're those little small square vents that you see in most new neighborhoods now we like to consider ourselves the trendsetters when it comes to this style of venting. We've noticed um, that we've been doing this for many years, but we've noticed that as of late, builders have picked up on this trend. And what this is, it's pretty much, it's those uh, little small squared vents that most people would install at the very top before. Well now, guess what they're doing? They're installing them at the bottom. They're installing them about two to three feet away from the bottom roof edge because they're understanding from now that actually this is important from the top as it is from the bottom. So now what they're doing is they know that since air is going to come in through those vents from the bottom, now the top ones are going to have something to work from. So what I like to think of is a lot of roofing companies and roofers and builders uh, they focus so much on the top obviously and they install these fans these like solar fans electric fans rigid i mean which which by the way they are so good but what they're doing is they're blowing and and they're sucking air out of the attic but it doesn't do the attic no good if it's sealed off now imagine a a plastic bag or a paper bag in your mouth and you blow it in what what's it gonna do it's more than likely it's gonna go into your mouth but since but if you cut holes in that bag and you blow it in it's not gonna go into your mouth anymore because now it has something to pull the air from that's the same purpose when it comes to small vents in the bottom of the roof so if you can't get into the attic well go up top hire a roofer or do it yourself you can install small squared vents scattered throughout each side of the roof about two or three vents per side um try not to do any on the front just because aesthetically it doesn't look very eye appealing especially if you ever try to sell your house but on the left the right and the back those three sides try to put some uh, bottom vents those intake vents um help out the soffits and when you're doing this I mean, you're just going to notice that air is actually going to be able to move in now. And I and I don't get paid any extra to uh, talk about these solar vents, but man, do they work? They they work like you can't imagine, especially when you open the bottoms by either the garage door or the 750s uh, scattered on the side of the roof those vents they work tremendously because now what they're doing is they are blowing in air from the outside it's that's getting pulled in through the attic and it's being exhausted through the top you're putting a barrel with a barrel like i said earlier well guys that's all we have for you today here thank you guys for watching very much we really appreciate it hit that like button subscribe 
and we will see you guys on the next one. Hope you guys are doing well and have a good one.